All right, so I'll show you guys step by step on how to be able to solve um, this problem. They said that if you wish to edit your details, contact customer care. That means your details are locked. You can't be able to open it. And one thing is everybody uh, who has been using this tricky do know that once your details are locked, um, you won't be able to what? Withdraw money, all right? You won't be able to withdraw money. Okay, so what are the possible reasons why your details could be locked? Your details could be locked because you have edited it so many times. Mostly more than six times. Do you understand? So uh, when your details are locked, it's usually depressing and all of that. And it's one thing to message these people. And it's another thing to message them right. I don't know if you understand. So if you don't message them right... They won't get why you are actually messaging them. So for this account, I, I've already actually messaged them. I could see the message I sent them. That was two days back. I said, that, good day, Distro Kid. My payment details are locked. Kindly open them so that I can edit again and put the correct bank details. This is a much more simpler form. Therefore, this is my friend who I'm trying to teach how to do this. This is a message I sent to him. I, I said, good day, this showcase, my payout details, right? So just I'll just copy that thing here. They come here. When you come here, you open this uh, chat box. So once you open this chat box, just wait for it to load. Probably it's network, right? So once it loads, they'll greet you. Then they will ask you to put your email. So for me, my email is jiggymbbs at gmail.com. I'll send it. I won't do this process to the end because I've already done mine. I don't know if you understand. But I'll teach you guys till the second to the last step. So this one now, they'll ask you that you should start typing what your problem is like. So for this one, you need help with your withdrawal. So just type, just start typing withdrawal. You see that what I need help with my withdrawal appear. Click I need help with my withdrawal. Once you click it, they will ask you to select a date. Now, I advise you that even if you have done it recently, even if you have not withdrawn your money, still select a date. And always select a date. Should be 20 days back. I don't know if you understand. So today is 7th December. Okay, today is 9th December. So what I'm going to select, I'll select something like 15th November. I don't know if you understand. You have to select a date that is way back so that the customer care will take you serious. They will know that you have so far with this thing. Do you understand? Uh, they said, that, can you provide additional details? Now, this is when I'll paste this message now. Good day, Distro Kid. My payout details are locked. I'm not able to edit my bank details. Please kindly unlock my payout details so I can put the right bank details. Very simple and short. I'll send it. Now, they will ask me, how much did you withdraw? All right. So now, even if you have not withdrawn, put the amount of money that is in your uh, balance. Do you understand? Even if you have not withdrawn, put the amount of money that is in your balance. So once you put that money, then your request will send to the show kid. But for me now, I don't want to put that money again because I've already messaged them. Do you understand? And you know, Distro Kid customer care, the more you keep messaging them back to back, back to back, without them replying you, the slower they will reply you. So once you have messaged Distro Kid once, just leave it. Within five to seven days, they will reply you. Do you understand? You don't need to keep reminding them, keep reminding them. All right? I know they have one of the most dedicated customer cares that they will always reply everything that comes to their decks. That's one thing I know about Distro Kid. So that does how to do it. So for you, you have to put the amount they sent. All right. They did not start saying that. Thank you for submitting your request. Uh, they have received your request. They work on it and all of that. But for me, I just came to show you. So I will not do that one because I have already messaged them on this issue. Do you understand? I have. Can you see that? When you message them now, check your email you see this confirmation email that they have received your request. You see it in your email. 